Feminism. It's about equality, right? Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, everybody? Feminism is defined by most people as advocacy for women's rights, equality, overall fairness between men and women. But is that the true definition of feminism? Is there one true definition? First, we need to examine the history of feminism and then the various waves of feminism and their objectives. So let's get started. The first wave of feminism started roughly around 1840 and culminated after World War I. It focused on women's suffrage, politics, and voting, and opened a variety of other opportunities, especially for white women. Surprise, surprise, it focused on mainly white women who are more or less higher up the social hierarchy or social status. Because <laughs> who cares about the poor and people of color? <laughs> Am I right? The first women's rights convention was held and the first declaration was signed in 1848. In 1920, the 19th Amendment was passed. This was when the US gave women the right to vote. So far so good, right? Well, then things took a sharp turn. Enter second wave feminism post-World War II. In the 1960s, they tackled reproductive rights, gender roles, gender identity, sexuality or sexual liberation, and of course the discussions over abortion rights and the invention of the birth control pill. Boy, it was a wild time. The Equal Rights Amendment was passed in the United States in 1972. Then came third wave feminism. This took effect around the 1990s, whereby women embraced the idea of the assertive, dominant, powerful female, challenging the norms of the gender roles, and they reintroduced a form of sexuality or sexual liberation, such as heels and showing cleavage, which was actually previously frowned upon during the earlier waves of feminism, whereby initially they used to see these acts of sexuality and sexualization as being oppression towards women by the patriarchy. Now they were being reinterpreted and being redefined and reused in order to liberate women or to show empowerment. And finally, 2012 onwards. You guys remember 2012, right? You know, when the mind calendar ended and apparently the world was supposed to end? Oh yeah, and then there was that movie that five people watched. Okay, okay, whatever. I, the movie made like $700 million or whatever. I get it, they made a lot of money. And although the world did not end in 2012, morality in society pretty much did. Fourth wave feminism seemed to emerge around this time. From one end, it seemed to focus on sexual harassment, rape culture, body shaming, and from the other end, many members of the movement were expressing their concern over the term feminism. They were seeing that term, you know, feminism, as being, what was the word, limiting and implying a gender binary. You cannot make this up. Their main issue was the term feminism implied it was for women only. You don't say. Yeah, you heard that correctly. There seems to be a push to reinterpret feminism from a movement for the struggle of women to become a movement for all genders and gender identities. All right, this is, uh, this is really giving me a headache. And even more confusing, how does the trans movement, along with trans women, fit into all of this? So, here's the question we need to ask ourselves. How did a movement that started with voting rights and female participation evolve into a movement promoting sexual promiscuity, vilifying men, the patriarchy, motherhood, becoming wives and marriages, attacking the family unit or the family structure, tackling and redefining gender roles and gender identity and pretty much overall moral degradation of society. Yo, <laughs> they've been busy. And sadly, many Muslim women have been gravitating towards this movement. And as a result, has resulted in many men, Muslim men, gravitating towards the opposite, which is the red pill movement, rather than both of them living by the teachings and principles of Islam. So has the feminist movement simply evolved? Has it been hijacked? 
Or is there a more sinister agenda at play? Thank you very much for watching. I'm That Muslim Guy, and stay tuned for the remaining of the Feminist series. So much more to come, you don't want to miss this. Salam. Peace.